The way in which data systems have been built traditionally is for the convenience of the data system itself. They use these primitives like tables and columns and rolls, strings of text. This is not the way that anybody thinks about anything out in the world. What are the problems that you think about when you do your work? Cyber attacks and fraud, problems that are driven by emergent behavior. Privacy and civil liberties, counterterrorism, counter narcotics, human trafficking. The thing about real world problems when it comes to a data perspective is that they're often described in multiple sources of data. The world has just been recording mountains and mountains of data and has no idea what to do with it. Unstructured text, structured data, images, cyber data logs, shipping manifests, customer lists, credit card records, data integration, which sounds decidedly unsexy, but I think is the seminal problem in the current age. What Palantir really tries to do is move to a model where even if the underlying databases are discrete, that I have an intervening layer of Palantir on top so that I again can focus on what it is that I do well, which is figure out what questions to ask. And the computers can do what they do well, which is to figure out how do I query the 56 databases in my organization and bring that data back into one coherent whole to me, the end user, so that I can ask questions and the computer can get the data. We're not creating a technology that's this black box algorithmic engine that you just throw data into it and it spits out an answer to you. We're actually allowing the people who understand these problems the best to do things with the data that they've always wanted to do but never had the technology to do. A really good example of this is foodborne illness, right? So people occasionally buy, say, ground beef that's tainted with E. coli and they get sick. And there's a group of scientists and researchers that monitor these things. They figure out where an outbreak starts, how it spreads, and how to shut it down. So if you try to put together a coherent data picture of what's going on here, you need shipping manifests from one or more different places, you need customer lists, credit card records, and you need information from the hospital. And what we do is we connect all the different data sources into this single coherent model. Now we have a Palantir data platform. The core piece of Palantir is really data integration. Um, it's the layer on which everything else is built. On top of that, you layer search and discovery, which allow you to understand and choose which particular pieces in all of the data sources you have integrated, you're gonna try to make sense of. And once you've made sense of that data, you have to have a way to store that, and that's called knowledge management. Knowledge management is critical because instead of thinking about data as simply the raw data itself, one should also think about the results of analysis as data unto itself that should be leveraged within the enterprise. If you have multiple analysts working on the problem, you have to have collaboration. And collaboration doesn't make sense without access control. Each person in your enterprise has a limited view because you have to respect the privacy of your users, of your customers, of citizens. This is a new model oftentimes for a lot of the people we work with, but we've seen time and time again that tremendous outcomes can happen and our customers solve their problems. In the healthcare context, our customers are using Palantir software to combat the rising cost of healthcare. In the law enforcement community, we're helping them solve crimes in real time. Palantir can actually help save homeowners from bankruptcy and foreclosure. The data relevant to properly value a home is in a disparate set of databases. As you are able to actually assess homes on a loan level basis, then you can think about what modifications can be made against that loan to have some type of alternative to foreclosure. Just knowing the missions that these organizations support, um, you, know, you, you feel really good about what Palantir is doing and what Palantir is bringing to the world. The purpose of Palantir is to bring the Palo Alto culture in the form of a platform to an enterprise to revolutionize the work being done in that enterprise on the back of this platform and to do it in a way that's fair and honest and corresponds to our values in the Valley, which are very high integrity, the best technology, open applications, ways of doing things that empower you to continue to do the work independent of us. What we're actually building not just addresses the problems you have today, but will scale into the problems you may have tomorrow. The next step is to think about what problems you want to solve, to think about what kinds of data that's out there to bring together. This is a partnership between us and our customers. 
the people are a big part of what we can offer in addition to kind of the power of the technology and the platform. It's amazing to go into an organization and just to watch their jaw drop as we show them our technology and they just say, you've just revolutionized the way that I do my job.